Hi, I'm Dr. Tim Hunsaker of Desert Valley Audiology. Today I'm going to show you how to pair your Bluetooth Com Pilot to any other Bluetooth device such as a cell phone or the TV device that comes with the Com Pilot. In addition, I'll show you how to reset it in case it is not functioning properly. Oftentimes, resetting it will bring it back to normal function. Okay, so here you have the Phonak Com Pilot, which is exclusively for Phonak hearing aids. Let me should go over the parts real quick with you. On the side here is the power switch. This is the on off. So in order to turn it on you just slide it down and I don't know if you can see that white mark there. That is on. In addition when you turn it on or off you'll see the lights on the top flash. You see the red there meaning it's off and then we turn it on it goes green. We have the main button here which is for answering the telephone or changing the program on your hearing aid if your hearing is programmed that way. Plus and minus is the plus and the minus for volume. That's volume on both the hearing aids in general or when using the Bluetooth device. So it can, it's a remote when it's not being used as a Bluetooth. On the side here you have a button that looks like a home, a house, and that is used when you want to reset your hearing aids to where they were set by your audiologist or hearing care provider. Then also you have the two arrow buttons here. This is called the connectivity button and it is used when trying to pair the device to other Bluetooth devices. So let's go through the pairing process first. First I turned it on and so the power is on and what I do is I'm going to put this into pairing mode. When I do that is push the plus button and the connectivity button at the same time. Hold those down for two seconds and you'll see that it's flashing blue. The blue flashing light means it's ready to find any other Bluetooth device that's that I want it to find. So now what I do is I take, take my phone which is a droid phone so any other droid out there will work just the same and you hit the settings button and you go to Bluetooth wireless and networks and then you go to Bluetooth settings and we're gonna go ahead and scan for device and you'll see here it came up with several different things um, some phones, my computer, but this is the important one, the Phonak Com Pilot. Can we see that? So we're going to go ahead and click on that, and it says connecting, and now it's connected to phone audio. So that is it. Now the Bluetooth is paired to, to my phone, and it'll work uh, just like a normal Bluetooth. You'll hear it directly in the hearing. So that's the normal process. Now, something else I wanted to show was how to reset this. And the way you reset it, or when you would reset it, is if it's not functioning properly, you can't get it to reprogram to your phone, to, to can't pick, get it to pair to your phone or communicate with the hearing aids, you reset it. And what you do is you push the minus button, this connectivity button, and the home button all at the same time. And you hold that down for three seconds. One, two, three. Okay? And then go ahead, just for good measure, flip the power screen, and then go ahead and turn it back on. And now the, this is completely reset, so it is not paired to anything in particular. And you would have to go through that same procedure again where you hold down the plus and the connectivity button on the side and pair it to your phone. That's often what you should do if, if things aren't working properly.